Welcome to another tutorial by Sierra Tech. In this tutorial you'll learn how to use digital copy to download a movie that you purchased whether it's a Blu-ray or a DVD which includes a digital copy redemption code but not a digital copy disk. In a lot of the current packages you have to enter the code usually on the studio's website and then it authorizes it through iTunes and then had to enter again the same code. Shown in the graphic is a copy of the insert found in the Blu-ray package with the redemption code for both ultraviolet and digital copy. You will notice under the digital copy instructions it tells you to go to paramountdigitalcopy.com slash Star Trek Into Darkness. This is a step we plan to skip so we don't have to do that. This is a shortcut procedure. I'm going directly into iTunes and enter our redemption code so we don't have to register on a, another website giving more of our personal information. So we'll go into the iTunes store and come down here to redeem. And then we have to type in our password. Of course this is our iTunes Apple ID password. And apparently I mistyped the password. Of course, the reason I mistyped the password is I realized the caps lock was on. So I'll turn caps lock off. Type in my password. Sign in. And then we reach the redemption code screen. And here we'll enter the code that's included into the uh, movie package. In this case it was Star Trek Into Darkness. Redeem. And it asks if I'd like to download the movie now. In this case I did not have to go to Paramount's website to enter this code. So you click download and it's accessing the store and typically it shows that your code has been successfully redeemed and it is downloading. Notice that the download is about 50 minutes, usually it goes to 80 minutes because it downloads the movie in a high def format along with extras that come with the movie. We have a 15 megabit download speed which is average in today's world. If you have a AT&T DSL or Uverse uh, connection it's going to take a long time to download the high definition version. You notice you could also play the movie and have it streamed to your computer. We're going to click watch later and just go ahead and let it download onto our hard drive. So naturally we're going to pause the video. I'm not going to waste time uh, attempting to record this download procedure and we'll come back after the download is complete. The download has completed and now we can see the movies in the sidebar of iTunes 11 and if you don't see the sidebar of iTunes 11, we have another video on how to enable that sidebar view. 
I'm going to click on movies. These are a couple movies that I have added in iTunes or videos that I had done that are on the iPhone. As you can see, Star Trek in the Darkness is considered new. And when you download from iTunes, we will look at the iPhone and uh, you'll see the video appear there on the iPhone under the video app. I'm going to demonstrate how a digital copy movie appears in our iPhone or iPads in the videos app. This is iOS 7 and I'm going to open the videos app which is native to iOS and it will appear, you'll see the videos I already have in here the same ones you saw on the screen um, as you can see it's refreshing and you can see here Star Trek Into Darkness and we can actually play it without downloading it. If you wish to download the movie into your iPhone or iPad to take with you to watch when you do not have Wi-Fi or 3G LTE coverage, for example, on an aircraft, you can watch the movie locally by downloading it into the iPhone or iPad's memory, clicking on this cloud symbol. We hope you found this video helpful and uh, please give us a thumbs up uh, if it helped you. Thank you for watching.